Hello, everybody. Welcome to today's devotion for March 8th. Uh, today's devotion is titled, Using What God Provides. The Bible reading is, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> the Bible reading is from Exodus chapter 4, verses 1 to 5. But Moses protested again. What if they won't believe me or listen to me? I need a drink. Hold on. <clears throat> what if they won't believe me or listen to me? What if they say the Lord never appeared to you? Then the Lord asked him, what is that in your hand? A shepherd's staff, Moses replied. Throw it down on the ground, the Lord told him. So Moses threw down the staff and it turned into a snake. Moses jumped back. Then the Lord told him, reach out and grab its tail. So Moses reached out and grabbed it, and it turned back into a shepherd's staff in his hand. Pe perform this sign, the Lord told him. Then they will believe that the Lord, the God of their ancestors, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, really has appeared to you. The Brisbane City Hall in Australia was a dazzling 1920s project. White stairs boasted marble from the same quarry Michelangelo used for his David sculpture. The tower reflected Venice's St. Mark's Bas Basilica and the copper dome was the largest in the Southern Hemisphere. The builders intended for a massive angel of peace to adorn the pinnacle, but there was a problem. No money left. Plumber Fred Johnson came to the rescue. He used a toilet cistern, an oil lamp post, and bits of scrap metal to craft the iconic orb that crowned the tower for nearly 100 years. Much like Fred Johnson and his use of what he had, we can join God's work with whatever we have, large or small. When he asked Moses to lead Israel out of Egypt, Moses balked. What if they do not listen to me? God answered with a simple question. What is that in your hand? Moses held a staff, a simple stick. God told him to throw the staff on the ground and it became a snake. Then he instructed Moses to pick up the snake and it turned back into a staff. All Moses needed to do, God explained, was carry the staff and trust him to do the rest. Remarkably, he would use that stick in Moses' hand to rescue Israel from the Egyptians. What we have might not seem like much to us, but with God, whatever we have will be enough. He takes our ordinary resources and uses them for his work. What small thing can you use for God? Why is it vital that you trust him with it? Thank you for joining me for today's devotion, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.